I actually, I'm doing an alumni panel this weekend and uh, for one of my clients and all the questions, we, we always you know reach out to students and we say, what questions do you have for the alumni? And all the questions are centered around, what is the one thing I need to do to get this job? What, who's the one person you talk to or what's the one thing that worked best or what's the, like, what's that thing that got you good at networking? And I, I read through these questions and I'm always just like, none of it like there is no one thing it's like doing dozens and dozens and dozens mm -hmm. of things over time leads to mm -hmm. good outcomes right like yeah you if someone could say martin you know how do you get clients for your business uh, i the podcast i guess but also social media but also reaching out to people but also the networking i've done for 12 years 15 years like it's it's every single thing all put together that leads to where we're trying to get and i like what you're saying here right it's it also plays into this mindset that people have, which is, I just want to do my job and go home. And I can understand that mindset, like, you know, rationally understand it. And I've even felt that way myself on certain days, right? <laughs> but at a certain point, um, you know, I'll just ask someone, I'll say, what value does your role bring to a company? And there, no one's able to articulate it. Like, what is the value that you bring to a company? And I love how you're phrasing this because you're like, you really have to, you know, show how your work fits within a team. You can't just say, I do development work and I just don't want anyone to bother me. I just want to be heads down doing development work. If you don't understand how that improves the website or how that gets more clients or whatever the thing might be. And so I'm, I'm curious, as you've been going through your career, what are the things that businesses care about? Because you're in such a unique, you know, management kind of a role. What is it that companies care about obviously revenue is the biggest one but i'm curious if you have like maybe a more specific or more articulate way of phrasing that for folks so they can start thinking more contextually about how their work fits in sure i think um the last two companies i've been at microsoft and, and facebook really care about impact and i kind of alluded to that when i talked about how, when you are writing up your resume don't just write what you did but write about why it mattered and so if for you, I think to do well in um, the professional world, it's really important to be aware of like, what efforts am, am I working on? What impact is that to the company? And if you feel like the stuff that you're working on is low impact to the company, that's not great. And maybe that's an opportunity for you to talk to your manager and say, here are the things I'm working on. I really want to have more impact. Are there, I, you know, I see an opportunity in this area and that area. So identify opportunities to have more of an impact um, suggest, see if people are open to having you work on those areas, um, suggest ideas where your company and the role that you have, where you could have more impact and make sure it aligns with what, um, the company vision and company goals are, right? Like a lot of day, a lot of folks these days have OKRs, um, objectives and key results where people are really saying, these are the things we're trying to achieve. So make sure you understand how what you're doing maps back to what your company cares about and that you're able to measure that impact. Something I ask people all the time when I work with them and internal as well as external is like, how are you measured? How is success measured for you? It's so helpful to understand how people are measured so that you, you then can really understand how you can help them. And then if you understand how you can help them and they understand that you care, then all of a sudden it's a little bit more of a meaningful relationship because you've kind of changed the conversation to, um, what can I do to help you? I'm trying to understand your goals better. People love that. 